How did the ancient Romans deal with plumbing? They built huge and extensive aqueducts, which is Latin for waterway. These under and above ground channels, typically made of stone, brick, and volcanic cement, brought fresh water for drinking and bathing as much as 50 to 60 miles from springs or rivers. As you can see, here's a comparison to what ancient Roman aqueducts used to look like compared to modern aqueducts. Aqueducts helped keep Romans healthy by carrying away used water and waste, and they also took water to farms for irrigation. So how did the aqueducts work? The engineers who designed them used gravity to keep the water moving. If the channel was too steep, water would run too quickly and wear out the surface, too shallow, and water would stagnate and become undrinkable. The Romans built tunnels to get water through ridges and bridges to cross valleys. Once it reached the city, the water flowed into a main tank called a castellum. Smaller pipes took the water to the secondary castella, and from those the water flowed through lead pipes to public fountains and baths, and even to some private homes. It took about 500 years to build Rome's massive system, which was fed by 11 separate aqueducts. To this day, Rome's public fountains run constantly, as do smaller faucets that provide fresh water to anyone who stops for a drink. Isn't that pretty impressive how Romans had the intelligence and technology to actually do this back in the day? It must have been great for them to have all that water.